What's up guys? It's another beautiful day here in La Paz and for those of you who don't know, it's the highest capital on the planet, just shy of 12,000 feet. Now, not only is this place rich in culture, has delicious foods, but it has one of the most unique forms of public transportation in the world. And today we're going to use it to go to... Shwayuma! It is the most colorful neighborhood here in La Paz. Most people don't know about it yet. However, we are going to show you why in a few years this is going to become the most popular destination here in La Paz. And in addition to that, we're going to go see a chalate wrestling. And that is where Bolivian women actually dress up in the traditional clothing and wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is going to be quite unique. Yeah, We've that never I'm looking forward yeah. to. <laughs> This neighborhood it's right behind me i'll try to zoom in to get you a closer look but um man already from this distance it's actually very pretty Shwayuma, guys. This place is absolutely amazing. Why? Because these colors are overwhelming. <laughs> it is. It's a sensory overload here. As soon as we got out of the cab, I was overwhelmed by all the colors, the patterns, the murals, the painted staircases, the view of the cable cars overhead with the mountains in the back. I could go on forever, guys. Yes, it's, we can. <laughs> yeah, it's magical. It's beautiful. You know, it's hard to believe that this was once a rundown neighborhood, but thanks to the government and the help of a local artist, I think her name was Noki Leaf. Listen, she was the creative director of having this, of all this work here, and it was all done within a matter of four months. Guys, I gotta tell you, I would live here. It is absolutely <laughs> Breathtaking. I totally agree. I would be so ecstatic to live here. I mean, coming out every day, walking around the neighborhood and looking at these beautiful murals and colors, and I would views. definitely be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not big, but there's a lot to explore, a lot to see, a lot to just take in. It's going to take some time, so let's get this started. Enjoy. Every doorway is actually a house for someone and it's so pretty. I mean, I can't imagine living here and coming home to this every day. Look at it. 
I don't understand how this is not the most popular neighborhood in La Paz. I'm sure it's just a few years before it does become the most popular neighborhood here. up to almost the top of the village every step up it was a long buster because the climb is steep however it was so beautiful it's distracting now that we made it up here the views are just gorgeous whoever lives here has the best views in the entire La Paz just yesterday we visit Mirador Kilikili and I have to say that these views here are absolutely better. You have the view of the mountains, the city, the cable cars, the red and the silver and all these beautiful colors. Oh, okay, gracias. That's a good idea. All right, guys, we're done with the upper half of the village, and now we're going down to the lower half where most of the murals are. But if you do come here, don't miss going all the way to the top. It's beautiful. The views are really crazy up there. They are. I would <laughs> allocate at least three hours here. Even <laughs> yeah. if you don't record, I'm telling you, just yeah. stop, enjoy the views. It's so you're Instagrammable. Going to want, you're going to want to stop and take plenty of photos. Tons, tons, tons. <laughs> also, as you walk along the streets, you're going to notice that they have these tiny little stores that people kind of designate a part of their homes for and I think they're so cute you know even the garbage cans here are painted and they're designed in such a way where they're like artistic yeah so, and it's very clean here too yeah That's you know one what? thing That's I noticed true. the moment we arrived here yeah so we were told not to come here because it could be dangerous so far there's no one around and the few people that we run into they're either very shy or very or, friendly. Or very friendly. <laughs> I mean, we stopped one lady, stopped and talked to me. Another guy did. But uh, listen, don't hesitate in coming here at all. No. It's absolutely beautiful. I tell you now, mark my words, in about five years, you can walk through here unless you bumped into tourists. I mean, this was finished July of 2019. That's so, right. kind of like pre pandemic, and then the pandemic happened. Yeah. But I know once you guys come here you're gonna love it and tell yeah. all your friends about it i mean it really really is absolutely stunning i'm loving all the colors and all the murals i honestly can't get enough of it yeah and at each mural there's a sign that tells you a little bit about the mural it's in spanish but google translate and you're good that's right <laughs> To go. <laughs> it is time to go guys. The temperature has dropped a little bit. It's gotten a little cooler but I have to tell you walking through the streets of this neighborhood is so worth it. You have to come here. It's unbelievable the views not only of the mountains and the city but just the mules and the painted buildings. And let's not forget the cable cars babe. 
All right, I know you've heard enough. I, I know you get it by now, right? We've this is why. We've been here for hours, just <laughs> truly enjoying the place. I mean, the colors just make us feel so happy, right? It is. I could spend at least another hour here, but it's time to go. We've covered just about everything here. There are photographers taking pictures here. I mean, so listen, it is absolutely safe to come here and worth I it. I agree. 100% worth it. And make sure you spend enough time. Like I said, there aren't any restaurants. There are little stores that sell drinks and snacks, water and stuff. stuff yeah. Like that. Yeah. But uh, so now we're just gonna walk down to the village and go to the bell cable car. Yeah. All right guys, we left that beautiful neighborhood and now we find ourselves in this ginormous, crazy market. Accidentally, <laughs> we took a cab, we asked him to take us to the Cabana Estacion station and he led us in the middle of Cabana and the market's so busy, it's insane. <laughs> I know, but it's so cool though. The entire street, well, all of the streets are lined with vendors, like just lay out their produce right on the street and they would put little red tops all over the place and then they have street, like uh, like street restaurants, people are eating, shopping. You can get anything from fruits, vegetables, cloth clothing. What else? A little bit of everything. A little bit so of everything. So we're gonna show you guys what this market is like, and hopefully find our way to the station. <laughs> Check Let's this go. out. And this market is only open Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. And like Kenny stated before, you can find brittle pads <laughs> to flowers to outdoor restaurants. Yeah, in fact, they close down certain streets where they set up restaurants in the street, but it's on an incline. So when you dine <laughs> and you eat your lunch, you're, you're on like, a hill. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I told Kenny once he sits, he won't even realize that he's planted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we made it back to the Cape Cod station, Taipei. Now, on the way up to uh, Chayuma, we actually saw this area here that's kind of a, I would say it's like a recreational area, like a small park where they have these converted train cars and they convert it into like cafes where they sell ice cream, coffee, snacks, and it's just something we want to check out before we head back. Yeah, they also have different some shops. Unfortunately, some of them are closing already. What I do love the most is that you have the views of the cable cars going in and out of the stations. Okay. They have the orange station here and the red station and so many beautiful flowers. And it is closed off to vehicles. Yep, no vehicle traffic at all. So you don't have to worry about that. And uh, I say we just go explore and find out what it's all about. I like that idea. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am so in love with this train. I love this conversion. Check this place out. It is so nice. It's actually two train cars adjoined over here where they line up both doors to the trains and they make a passageway. So cool. We love anything that has been converted. Hello guys, we live in a converted school bus. Yeah. <laughs> but this, I'm actually gonna enjoy some coffee here. So, and then we're gonna go outside and explore. I am loving the converted trains, the views of the mountains, the cable cars. I truly cannot get enough. And I am so happy that we decided to stop here. <laughs> yeah, you know what? As it turns out, this used to be the old train station where you would go to buy your tickets to take the train to wherever. But now it's been converted to like a business center. So they have restaurants, daycare centers, and other businesses, of course. But what I love is that we're discovering even more train conversions so there's a train car ahead of us called ellis and it's converted into another restaurant there's a ginormous la paz sign here that people come in and take photos in front of <laughs> but like she said what's great is that as you're walking around this beautiful little recreational area the cable cars are going overhead also just, you can do some shopping there's some yes. little stands out there with traditional purses and handmade items so we're gonna check that out soon but i can literally hang out here all day yeah you can spend a couple of hours here for sure no no like all day babe <laughs> she can <laughs> <laughs> plus there's an ice cream trolley so we might check that out also let's see that sounds good <laughs> So I finally agree with Gladys that I am so happy we came back here because I feel like a kid again <laughs> because we get to climb all over the locomotives behind us and just like explore the grounds. Yeah, it's like a playground. It is. For it Gladys is. and Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> so we also learned that this train station used to transport passengers and mm -hmm. cargo all the way from La Paz to El Alto, that huge mountain you see behind us, and it would take two locomotives at full power carrying all that weight two hours to get just from here to right there wow and now if you take the cable car it's about a 15 to 20 minute ride <laughs> how far has technology come isn't it amazing in fact that was not too long ago in 1966 that's right but you know what I just enjoyed the grounds because the old trains, it's good to be a kid again, climbing all over them. I was trying to balance myself on the tracks. <laughs> She's horrible. She's horrible. I'm getting better. <laughs> well, you know what, guys? Now, we're actually going to head to a location where... Well, not yet because we still want to check out, or I still want oh. to check out the markets that they have there. Actually, not the market, the stalls that they have there. Yeah. And... Maybe get some ice cream. I'm feeling kind of thirsty and not for water for something sweet. I was just about to say that. Maybe get some, some chocolate ice cream. I'm so excited. We're getting ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I think they get that. How much is it? What do we get? Oh, eight pesos. Eight pesos. That's, good. That's like a dollar or five. They have pink spoons. Oh, gosh. All right. That's and great. And a blue one for Kenny. <laughs> So we find ourselves back in the central where we're going to be taking one of those awesome looking camiones or small buses. They're painted, they're colorful, some of them have shiny rims. I can't wait to get on one of these things. We have been looking at these caminos go by for weeks now. Since we're we got here. we finally getting on one. And we're going to take it to meet up with our tour guide who is going to be taking us to our next big thing that we're going to be doing today, which is watching the choleta wrestling and that's gonna be super fun we're gonna watch women wrestle guys come on come and on all you guys out there you know you're gonna love it let's do this <laughs> it's up truth <laughs> 
It's kind of crazy getting here guys. We left La Paz and we're now in the city of El Alto, which is pretty much adjacent to La Paz, but at a higher altitude. And it was just nuts getting here. It's, it seems like it's sort of a hidden activity. Yeah, the ticket is worth 13 US dollars. It includes transportation here, souvenir, snack, and two tickets to the restroom. Yeah, so you know what? It's kind of loud in there, but it seems like, it seems like it's gonna be fun. So let's go in and enjoy. Let me tell you, when they brought out the men wrestlers, that was all right. Those guys have skills, but the female wrestlers, when they came out, the whole place went bonkers. Oh, I don't know if you heard me guys, but I was like, woo! Screaming her head off, screaming her head off. I think they look so adorable the way they were dressed, and they actually got some moves. Yeah, they do. In fact, it was they put a twist on wrestling, right? Because the, the referees actually became contestants, and they were beating everyone up. <laughs> Even okay. the females, <laughs> the male, the male referees were beating up the females. That was so that funny. That was awesome. It definitely exceeded my expectations. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but that being said, thanks for watching and hanging out with us. As always, we appreciate it. Share this video at least with one of your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys Bye. off the top rope. Oh! Whoa!